Welcome back to JW's Backyard. So I was out here revamping the Barbie Jeep a little bit, and really I haven't drove this thing in a while. I had uh, started getting it back going again, and I just couldn't get it to run without the choke on. And I uh, took the old carburetor off, I cleaned it out real well, and still just couldn't get it to run without the choke. So got a new $12 carburetor, got it on. It was running great. I had it up here on this block testing it out you know revving it up a little bit and i think the engine might have just let go you know i've got quite a few go-karts all kinds of different engines but i this is the first time that we might have actually lost an engine but i didn't have the camera out when i was doing this so here's a little reenactment of what happened so we're gonna get this thing apart and see what we broke i uh, haven't found uh, any holes in the block yet uh, I did see a piece of black plastic pop out up here, so I'm hoping it's just something to do with the flywheel. This is a factory flywheel, and this thing does have a governor delete. So I'm thinking maybe I threw a magnet, but we'll get it apart and see what's broken. All right, so we got the engine out. If we look at it, I don't see any obvious holes in the block or anything. The way it sounded, I thought we might have uh, broke a rod or something. But that all looks okay, at least from the outside. But like I said, I did see some plastic kind of shoot out up here on top of the engine. And the only thing kind of plastic that looks similar to that would be like a fin off the flywheel so let's get this pull start off and see if it's anything there and if we don't see anything there we'll have to open it up and of course this is a 79 cc predator governor's removed you know the the intake and exhaust are modified but they're actually a little more restrictive than the factory stuff so no real other performance modifications Well, right off the bat, yeah, I see some, there's some teeth. Oh, there went some more falling out. There's some teeth missing off of that fan. So let's get this taken a little farther apart and see what's up. And there you go. Actually, that's the magnet. This is just the plate that was holding the magnet. Oh yeah, this, this engine's done. So, and you can see 
that's where the magnet was it just broke that screw that was holding it in right off it came up and hit the coil and just broke the mounts for the coil right off So we didn't have a catastrophic engine failure. Uh, looks like internals are probably okay. Uh, flywheel itself looks okay. It's just through that magnet. And uh, unfortunately, it looks like this engine is done because I don't have anything to get those mounts back on there and it'd be right. So I guess we got a engine for parts. Uh, really don't want to buy another one of these engines because it, it, it's really not very powerful but this whole frame was built for an engine of this size so i'm gonna have to do some thinking and if anything if i get another one of these i think i'm gonna upgrade the flywheel for sure hopefully it'll hold on to the magnet a little better but this factory magnet and flywheel held up for quite a few years guys it's been probably three four years since i built this jeep but looks like it finally let loose and turned this thing into a tiny little boat anchor. But I have some cool stuff planned for the Jeep, so we're gonna have to get this thing done quick. And I know somebody's gonna say I can weld those mounts back on, and definitely could, but I don't normally weld aluminum. I usually use flux core, so it'd be $200, $250 minimal just to get the tank and the gas that I need to weld those mounts. And it's just not practical when I can buy two engines for that price. And I don't really trust JB Weld or Epoxy or anything like that. I'll see you next time.